Prashant. We're the founders of SE3D Education and creators of Rebel, the classroom 3D bioprinter. Using our bioprinter, teachers can conduct scientific experiments using algae, bacteria, and proteins. But more importantly, students can themselves design cool scientific experiments, thereby enhancing hands-on learning and innovation and creativity. The machine itself, I think, is fascinating because the theory behind what bioprinting is and how it can be used in industry and in medical and in biomedical situations, I think is really open-ended right now. There are many exciting things about this technology, not the least of which is the machinery itself and how it works and how it can be programmed and has to be programmed in order to work. There are new lab techniques and hand skills that need to be developed. Sometimes I've found that I can keep my students' hands busy, their minds will follow. And so the more students we have that can have active hands-on with something like this, the better it is and the easier it will be for them to be drawn into the, the theory behind it. Kids that maybe don't learn with the words from a page, they will learn by using their hands, and so the actual lab skills or techniques, the uh, muscular coordination will be very good for them to develop. One of the advantages of using the bioprinter is the reduction in the amount of supplies and reagents that's being used and the waste that's being generated. So in a lot of the labs that we do that requires biohazard materials, using the bioprinter actually minimizes the biohazardous waste that's generated and have to be disposed of at the schools. I see a lot less reagents, a lot less volume of supplies, a lot less plastics and consumables that then have to be provided to the schools. I've been able to attend all four of the educator workshops that have been offered by SC3D so far, and I've really enjoyed being able to see the different curriculum tracks that are offered. I see the bioprinter being used in the classroom to run a number of quick and hopefully easy experiments to teach students about some biological concepts and be able to replicate it and also start to answer their own questions. Periodically, every educator needs to take, take an effort to learn something brand new because it reminds you of the tiny steps that are necessary to help someone else learn that. And whenever there's a new piece of machinery or a new technology that we're going to invite teachers to use in the classroom, it's really important that there be the opportunity for the teachers to learn that in a comfortable, supportive environment. What really helps is the repetition, being able to do it over and over again, make the mistakes under guided tutelage, to the point where they're adept and comfortable enough with it so that they can begin to take the next step of starting to put it into tiny learning packets suitable for their students. And the workshops that we've been doing are uh, very, very helpful. If the idea and goal is to continue to uh, proliferate the use and the understanding of 3D workshop in the schools, I think those workshops are going to be critical. Mm -hmm.